Because it always starts from that. Where on earth do you want her to begin from? Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm not just in the mood to laugh. I mean... I mean, every time you open the pages of newspapers, all you'll be seeing is domestic violence, domestic violence, violence against women. Baby, don't just shout, mm -hmm. this is just the simple truth. I mean, don't tell my soul one, one annoying video. Can you imagine? It's only men that beat women. What do you mean, is it only men that beat women? How many women have the power to beat a man? The power of the mouth. Which one is power of the mouth? <laughs> Which one is power of the mouth? As in, no reasonable woman will want to like, you know, mouthwash her husband, except maybe the man do something, you know, and then she will use her own. Of course, she will use her mouth to defend herself. But most times, it's always violence against women, violence against women. And this is getting out of hand. The last time I saw a video, very disturbing video, I mean, this woman, she doesn't seem to me like a young woman. She seems to me like a woman who has been in that marriage for a long time. And I'm probably sure that she has gotten grown-up children. What did the man do to her? At the end of the day, the man drove her out of the house. Can you imagine that? What did she do? This is not about what did she do. <laughs> Baby, this is not... I'm not laughing in this video, okay? I, I'm not calling your name in this video. Just leave me. Let me do my video. <laughs> Let me, let me, let me do my video now, please. I'm not laughing at all in this video. I just want to put my voice because I don't, the, the whole thing is just pissing me off. I mean, you just see them. And most times, most of these women are like housewives that have nothing to fall on, that have lived their whole life. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't know why some men choose to behave this way. I mean, it's totally not is not okay it's totally unacceptable you know a woman who suffered with you a woman who a woman who have practically lived all her life with you at the time that she's supposed to relax and enjoy her life that is when the man when i say maybe well, remember the scenes the, the, the past. oh dear god oh dear god this is terrible I mean, it's so really, really, really annoying. It's so annoying. I don't know why some men choose to go this way. I mean, what do you think they stand to gain? Yeah, I'm not really an expert on the on the topic, but I think it's an issue that is worth uh, looking into. You know, at least because there are so many people that have some psychological problem or mental problem. You never, you never can tell what's the problem. So. I'm not trying to say it's only men. I think I'm trying to balance what I'm saying. I know, I know it's both sides. You know, I know that we have some women that trouble men in in marriage, but most times it's always against the women. And because the women are the weaker one. In terms of yeah, the women are the weaker weaker one in terms of strength. You know. Hmm. Okay, baby, maybe one day we'll make a video, please. I know you're a very busy person, but um, one day, please, just make out time. I really want you to sit down with me, and let's talk on this topic, domestic violence. No. So you talking from a man's angle, you know, and then sharing with us why this is on the increase, because it's so, it's really on the increase, it's so alarming, no. and it's very annoying, you know? That will be fine, I will try, I will make our time. You okay. promise? You promise? <laughs> that would be, that would okay. be nice. Okay. It's really an important matter issue to me. I'm telling you. Okay, thank you. So let me just focus now on this video. I just want to share beautiful things which I have with women, any woman out there who is going through domestic violence, you know, with great respect to men. I know that sometimes the fault might not be maybe only on the man's side. I know maybe sometimes maybe it might come from the woman's side i mean it's being triggered by different reasons for different people but you know i'm just <laughs> i'm not being partial here you know i'm just talking from the woman's side like because i believe that a woman is like 
the softer one, the weaker one. In terms of strength, you, she can't stand against the man, you know. And in most homes, men are like, you know, the one with the money, especially in a home where the woman is doing nothing, where she's like a housewife. That is the one that I'm focusing on the more because if you are not a housewife, or maybe you have money to fix yourself after the um, violence in your home, I mean, good. But then some women don't have anything to fall on. I mean, some women have lived all their life with this man, doing everything for this man, and at the end of the day, that is the part that is paining me the most. Women that falls in that category, how do they cope? What do the man expect them to do? When you ask a woman to leave the house, at that age in her life, where, where on earth do you want her to begin from? Where on earth do you want her to begin from? Anyway, today's video is just to talk about early signs of domestic violence because I want to believe that before it resulted into maybe fighting or the man beating you or both of you going your separate ways, I want to believe that there were some early signs that perhaps you ignored. I am talking to the woman right now. I want to believe that there were some early signs that perhaps you ignored. Things you did not take serious. Maybe in your mind you felt like he is going to change. Like the man calling you names and you not taking it serious. Thinking in your head that, well, he's going to change or he doesn't mean what he's saying. You know, if you don't stamp your authority at that point in time, then it will result into beating you and finally you go in your boots separate ways so i want to believe that truly there are some early signs that you need to pay attention to because the video that i saw some days ago oh my god it was quite disturbing where would that woman start from that woman should be nothing less than 60 years of age and the man drove her out of the house I mean, I want to believe that there were some early signs which perhaps you did not take serious. Early signs like verbal abuse. You were not picked from the streets. You came from a home. He married you. He liked you. He saw something beautiful in you before he married you. So why calling you names in the house like you are nothing or you mean nothing to him? This is why you don't have to take things like that for granted. When a man starts calling you names, that is a sign. That is an early sign of domestic violence. And you have to make him know that you are not those things he's calling you. You have to make him know that you know who you are, you know your what. The video that I saw some days ago was quite disturbing. And I'm asking myself, where would that woman start from? The man sending her out of the house like she have never been with him all these years. Where will she start from? This is why as a woman, if you still have opportunity to do something, to better your life, to improve yourself, do not stop yourself. Go ahead, do something for yourself. That woman was a pure housewife. She had nothing. I'm sure she had no money to fall on. All the years she have been with this man, God, I don't know how she's feeling at this point in time. Know your words as a woman. Chase your dream. Don't allow marriage to stop you. Some time ago, I came across a lady who talked about how she wanted to go to work and her husband was like, no, you don't have to go to work. You have to stay back at home and take care of the children. That lady forced her way. You know, she forced herself into working. And today she's enjoying it. Today the man too is happy that she's working because she's no longer a, a, a liability to the man. She can contribute. She can have her own money. She doesn't need to go to the man for everything. Give me this, give me this, give me that. And she's earning her respect. So, if you know your worth, if you value yourself, you will not allow marriage to put your career on hold. You will not allow any man to call you names like you mean nothing or you came from nowhere. So do not ignore those early signs of domestic violence. Because if you ignore those early signs, 
when the big one comes, like beating, throwing you out of the house, what will you do? Where will you start from? I'm not saying that, you know, every problem in a home is triggered by a man or is caused by a man. No, I know women have their own issues. But if you look at it from the wide range of it, women are the ones that suffer the most, you know, when it comes to domestic violence. I mean, in terms of strength, I don't think <laughs> we have good percentage of men that can, you know, beat a woman very well. So, women are always at the receiving end. So this video is to encourage any woman out there who is going through issues at home not to ignore those early signs because there are early signs that perhaps you ignored. So this video is to encourage women out there, especially a woman that is going through a lot in her home, in her matrimonial home, a woman that is going through domestic violence. Be strong, encourage yourself. And it is not the end of the road. It's not the end of life for you. You can pick up yourself. You can encourage yourself. You can still do something meaningful with yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in my next video. God bless you.